you may tell, you may be remembering that the for only that TV the advertisement was neighbors can be honors pride. This organization IAPC is a pride of the members, the honors, and now it is a, an envy to the you know, other organizations or the neighboring uh, organizations. So we are growing in a such a manner that we are making more envy to other people. So let us grow together, let us work together, we will move ahead to make it a grand success. <laughs> now let me introduce and invite our distinguished guest. We have, we actually, we invited different political leaders, some of them agreed to come, but the senators who are engaged with the budget work, they are in Albany, so they put in turn up, so they can show up the, uh, to this program. So I don't think they are able to come, so we don't expect that. And we invited Congressman Tom Sosi, and he had an, today morning I got a call from the office that he got an urgent emergency work or something, so he is unable to reach today, so anyhow, uh, the politicians let them do their duty and let, let them serve the society and the community. And town supervisor Joseph Saladino, he is expected he may be a little late, and I think he will be coming a little late. Now, we have a distinguished guest here. He is none other, other than the ambassador of Japan and the deputy permanent representative in permanent mission of Japan to the United Nations. May I invite to welcome Dr. Dr. Toshia Hashino, the ambassador of Japan, along with his better half, Shikako Hashino. Most welcome to this organization, Unity Valley. Welcome you. Thank you, sir, for coming. Now we have another prominent person. He is from the Permanent Mission of India to the United Nations. He is a minister in Permanent Mission of India. He is none other than Mr. Deepak Mishra. And he also came with his wife, Mr. Jyoti Mishra. We welcome both of you to this August conference. Thank you, sir, for coming and attending this. We have from our consulate, the Community Affairs Council, Mr. Devadas and Nara. All of us are going to be going here. We are very familiar with the community. We are doing great things in the community. And we welcome Mr. Devadas and Nara and his wife, Mr. Hav Sintu. Now we have some different honorees here. Uh, we are honoring different people as a media people. Uh, this one we are honorizing. Honoring the distinguished persons in the community who are doing good service. We invite or uh, welcome Ms. Mrs. Kanjana Kula and Jagadish Kula. Mr. Ashok Vyas and his wife, Mrs. Shriya Vyas. And we have another distinguished guest, our own man, a director, director of this IAPC, Mr. Kamlesh Mehta. We have another distinguished guest, he was a diplomat earlier and now he is a columnist and writer. Mr. Ben Parameshwaran and Dr. Prasila Parameshwaran. Thank you, sir. We have a bank here, BCP Bank, BCP Indus American Bank's manager, Rubam Aini and Suresh Thakur. We have one Guruji here who is uh, Yoga Jariya. Guruji Dilip, Dr. Dilip Kumar Tangapan. Now we have another great 
businessman and uh, entrepreneur, Mr. Waki Abraham. He is here. Welcome, Waki Abraham. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And we have a social activist and very um, chairman of a uh, organization, non-profit organization, uh, Team A. They are helping the community a lot and we are recognizing their support to the community. Mr. Mohan Alapeni and wife, <laughs> Mr. Mohan. And we have so many other distinguished guests here, our IAPC family members are there, former president Rini, Rini Mehra is there, and so many other distinguished guests. I am not mentioning the names, it will take a lot of time, so I am not just shortening. And inviting, welcoming all of you to this August function. And we have our Philadelphia chapter team here, from, they came from the Philadelphia, and we have some entertainment program, dancing, dancers. Mr. Smiley Nair and team the Saubatiya Dance Academy and Bangra Dance, the Bangra Surmaya team and different media people are here. We welcome all the media people here. We have about 8-10 media people here. We welcome all the media people to this August function. I once again welcome all of you to this function. Let us move together. Let, let us go ahead. Thank you and have a good evening. Light represents the positive and good spirits, whereas darkness represents negative and evil spirits. We also we believe light symbolizes knowledge and darkness symbolizes ignorance. Knowledge removes ignorance just as light removes darkness. By lighting a lamp, the lamp becomes a form of fire or a cage in Sanskrit. Lighting a lamp before a ceremony spreads divine grace. Let us spread divine grace in this ceremony by lighting the lamp. May I invite the fallen the trees <coughs> to light the lamp. Honor, uh, His Excellency Japan Ambassador Dr. Toshio Hishino. <laughs> Honorable PMI Mr. Ms. Minister Mr. Deva Pushra. <laughs> Indian South State Honorable Mr. Devdas Nair. <laughs> Honorable Queen's District Assembly Member, Dr. Neeta Jain. <laughs> Patmasri, Dr. Sudhir Pari. Sorry, he's not here. Um, IAPC Founder Chairman, Mr. Jitsun Sakriya. <laughs> IAPC Director, Mr. Kamlesh Mehta. <laughs> IAPC Directors, Vinita Nair, Chorus and Verkis. Praveen Chopra, Thomas Matthew, IAPC National President Sunil Joseph Kurambala, General Secretary Mathapudi Isho, Treasurer Reggie Phillip, New York Chapter President George Kutarakan, and Philadelphia Chapter President Sandosh Abraham.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. May I invite the national president, Mr. Sunil Joseph Kurapala, for his acceptance speech and presidential address.
for the betterment of upholding the media ethics and the unbiased attitude. We are coming up with different plans to improve the status of free press phenomenon wherever possible. We are coming with the training and placement programs for new entrants and job seeking community in different chapters. We are pleased to hold seminars at the different locations and educate and promote the local issues of social importance. We are also teaming up with different TV channels and social media to express our concerns and the outlook on current issues. And I have backed up with us an efficient team of board of directors and national executive committee to envisage additional projects of media importance. While concluding, may I borrow and emphasize few words from Margaret Lee. Never doubt, doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed journalists can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that we ever can do. Thank you very much. Thank you. May God bless you.
Francis, Ms. Mali, Chandraja, Bhavya, Rachna, Preeti, Tarika, and Tandika. Thank you so much again.
I will request the chat to speak your words. Not the other system. He gave me 60 seconds to speak. But all I have to say is thanks to all of them, especially Kamlesh and Jim Stone and Pardeen Ji and the Indo American Press Club to giving me this honor. I don't know whether I deserve this, what I have done. What we have done, uh, what I have done, is a credit goes to my husband and my family and my father. Father instilled in us, in me, to give for education, for the poor, for feeding, and he always was there for anybody. When a poor man came, he would take the food my mother had in the kitchen to give it away. She would have saved it for us, but he would have given it away because a man came hungry. And anybody, education wise, he used to give. And he supported his whole village. Same way we support the Indian American community here to the best we can do. And we share what we have as much as we can. Thank you. I also invite New York Thomas and just yeah, to honor please. them by Garland and Kunal. Yeah, the New York Thomas someone would like to honor Kunal. It's a great honor and pleasure to offer it. It's a great honor and pleasure to honor our Indian community leader, Thirumadi, Anchana Puda, and Jagadishan. They are the stalwart community leaders. Have anything and everything, if you need any help, they are there. Not only that, the first time in New York, Kamar a lady president was Anchana Puda. I don't want to take too much time. I just want to honor them. Thank you. This is the South Indian style. <laughs> Uh, I did not say uh, anything about Kashan Abbas Kapal. You will get a chance to read the souvenir. It has mentioned a little bit there. May I invite Anand and Amuda to come on the stage, please? For a picture? Please come. Anand, please come on the stage. All the Tamil singer become people, please come for the photograph. Uh, as soon as possible, please. Yes, yes, thank you. Like yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please take your seat. Thank you, everybody. The next one will you. Thank you. And I have again the great 
an honor for a few days to honor one of my dearest friends, my sister, Dr. Nita Jain. May I request Dr. Nita Jain to Tomochi please come on the podium? At the same time, I will request again Mr. Nair, Mr. Koshia, Mr. Nishraji, please come on the podium one more time. Sunilji, Mr. Matthew, Mr. Dinsman, Jokaria, please come on the stage. Dr. Nita Jain is an accomplished educator, civil political leader. She is the only Indian female elected democratic district leader in New York Assembly District 25 Part B in Queens. She is a visionary, challenged German, successful professional, leader in both academic and community areas, advocate for non-violence and peace, gender equality, domestic violence, children and women, mental health and well-being. And she is a qualified, highly educated, doctorate degree in psychology. She is a member of several civic and faith-based organizations. There's a long, long list. If I if, if I keep it, it will be it will be like many, many hours. But she has been serving the community for more than the last 20 years by coordinating faith-based, cultural, social, and traditional events, and by being actually involved in both social and political areas. Recipient of awards and many honors from various Indian political parties. Today, we are, IAPC is truly honored to honor them for her achievements. May I ask Mr. Nisraji to please present the show to Ramoji. Ramoji is the backbone of Nidaji. I call him the battery. No, the, the, the battery without the battery, the toy doesn't work. So without Ramoji, Nidaji party. How much to you too? And, and so let me please present the citation to Nidaji. Nidaji, how much to you too? We are really, truly very proud of you. We have made our community so proud. Thank you very much. Thank you. We wish you best. Few words, please. Good evening and Namaskar to all of you. Good evening. How is everybody doing? Very nice. It's really amazing and uh, cheerful to see all of you sitting here on Sunday evening. That shows your love and commitment to our community and your love to IPR, Indo-American Press Club. I'm really humbled and honored by this award. I just do my service to our community as you do and your work is more important and uh, appreciate it because your pen and your words can make a big change in the world and not only in the nation because your words really influence the life of many. And I really congratulate all uh, our new uh, president and executive committee members, uh, Mr. Sunil, national president, uh, for their induction ceremony today. I wish you good luck and a lot of success this year, and uh, that's all, and thank you so much once again. And I also want to congratulate my fellow nominees, uh, fellow honorees and nominees. Thank you so much. Some more people, Dr. Moraji, Mina Sambhati Ji, Mina Kumariji, 
Ajezi, Reji, once again, Floraji, thank you very much for coming to this event. We have heard this event a great success. Thank you, thank you very much. Please. I have to give an important announcement. Uh, we got a lost card uh, in the name of Samira Shadal. Is anybody in that name here? So please, there's a credit card that's uh, misplaced. So. Consulate General of India, New York. May I request the New York Chapter Vice President, Ms. Hema Virani, to lead Mr. Devadasan Nair and his spouse, Mrs. Sindhu, to the stage. Mr. Devadasan Nair is working as the Consul Community Affairs in Indian Consulate, New York, for the last three years. He is the person who brings the Indian community with the Indian Consulate by creating a very good personal and official relationship. Before coming to New York in September 2016, he was the consul in the Indian Consulate in Myanmar. There also his approach was the same. He worked in Indian Customs for a long period as inspector, superintendent, and assistant commissioner. In New York, he has given help to the support of the Indian community and families who face crises such as domestic violence, the death of Indians, Indian students who happen to be in problems. It is our privilege to properly honor and appreciate the good things that he has done to the needs of the Indian diaspora in New York and neighboring states. May I request the Honorable Ambassador of Japan to hand over the plaque as a mark of our recognition to his services. We got one citation to Mr. Devdas Nair uh, from the Consul, uh, India of the on behalf of the constituents of the third Congressional District of New York. Thank you for sharing for your time, talent, and treasure to the Indo American Press Club and preserve the Indian American culture by the Sangharization Society in special honor. Thomas R. Sosi, Member of Congress District. New York, third district New York. May I request Mr. Devas Nair to give a talk to a few words. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, please. I'm not hearing a good evening from Yes, thank you, thank you. So, I think as you all know, I'm Nair from the Consulate. Always there with you. Always and always there with you. I have been there for the past two and a half years. Now it's time for me to, I mean, maybe push off from here. Because you must be, you must have had enough of me for the past so many years. So many months and years. Yeah, you must have had. Yes, yeah, this is what you think. You see, you are simply saying that. This is all superficial. I know, even in their minds, you will be thinking that where the is this guy going back? <laughs> so, I may be going back, I'm telling you, uh, within, a, within uh, four to five months. I expect to go back. And in the meanwhile, I would like to say that IAPC has done a tremendous job, not only today. For the past six years, it has been doing a wonderful job. It has got a lot of media, what you call representatives, in, their, in that IAPC club. And I want the club to grow, grow in a big way, so in such a way that you, as IAPC, the media members should be 
representing any and every community in this in your karma bhumi that is USA. Any and every every community. It's not only one particular community or two two communities or three communities. No, we want all the communities to be represented. And one more thing, let it be both the written and electronic media. The electronic and written media should be equally represented in this IAPC. And this IAPC should be a real cosmopolitan setup with representation from each and every journalist mind that is the in US and contributing to the journalistic what you call the acumen of the Indian society here. And I would like the IAPC to be a guiding factor to the journalists here and elsewhere for a responsible and fruitful journalism. Thank you. Thanks, sir. It's wonderful to be here. Thanks, sir. to honor the next Thank you. It's once again I have the privilege and honor to honor my dear friend C. Ashok Yas. Ashok he is one of the most seen person in New York. A, a wonderful actor, and I'm sure that most of people you know that Ashoki is a beautiful poet also. He's a wonderful, great, wonderful sweetheart. And we are invite Shiraji, Shiraji, and Ashoki on the on the podium. At the same time, I would like to invite Ibadiji, please come. Ibadiji, with you. And Mr. Matthew, Smithy, President, Mr. Sanjaya, the Ambassador Toshio. Vishwati, Nayasa, one more time, please. And may I request the need to come over also to join on the stage? Yes. I, you know, I'm not going to formally introduce Ashokji, but I want to say my experience about him, which will reflect his personality. You know, Ashokji is an expert in Sanskrit, Hindi, English, Urdu, and Marwari. I get very few chance to speak in Malwani, to cure Malwani. And where really I can use those words which we used to use many, many years ago. And when I speak to Ashoki, I really speak from my heart and I enjoy and, you know, talking to him, communicating with him. And he leads out from me, which is uh, all the way in, uh, is buried below many, many layers, but he has a beautiful art to take them out. Like it, we say that Jana Pujari, Maha Pujari. So, Ashok Ji had a beautiful art, and and IAPC is truly honored to honor his services to the media fraternity. He is around for so many years, helping the community, reading the news by the live debates, live programs, and we are truly very proud to honor you, Ashok Ji. May I ask Vishali and Mr. Pujari to present the. Thank you. May I request Mr. Ethan George, the chapter, New York Chapter Secretary, to come and give the floor.
Thank you very much, Kamlesh, for such wonderful, lovely, soulful introduction. And I want to smile on each and everyone's face. And for that, what I can do, my wife says that if you stop talking, everybody will smile. <laughs> but there are occasions when you override what your wife's wishes are. And I wish uh, to, uh, first of all, thank Indo American Press Club. And I would be failing in my duty that before I start my 60 seconds community, I, on behalf of the chairman of ITV Gold and uh, Parik Worldwide Media, Dr. Sudhir Parik was almost here on his way and there was traffic on uh, uh, Jolly Washington Bridge and he had to make a U-turn. But he sent me this text which I'm reading. I appreciate the six-year journey of Indo American Press Club. This is uh, the message from Pradhan Sri Dr. Sudhir Parik, who said I appreciate the six-year journey of Indo American Press Club. This organization is moving from strength to strength and serving our community. I take this opportunity to extend my good wishes for IAPC's National Executive Committee for 2019 with uh, Sunil J as President. I want to congratulate all the honorees and it makes me proud to see two members of ITV Gold and Pari Worldwide Media family being recognized for their contribution. I'm sure this will further inspire Sujit Rajan, Executive Editor, News India Times and Desi Talk Newspapers and Ashok Vyas, Program Director, ITV Gold to continue to excel and serve the community. I wish innovative thinking and dynamic action for IAPC. So that, that was uh, Dr. Sudhir Parikh. Let's clap for him, please. Thank you. And Amrishji, please around. My 60 seconds starts now. And uh, on my way, I was thinking what way to talk about me being a part of the media and as I have been in the field of media by God's grace for almost 40 years, uh, uh, Ambassador uh, from Japan, uh, I bring to your attention there is an All India Radio in India and I worked about 14 years with them and for 21 years I have been here with ITV Gold and one thing which I think I heard as a child from Japan was the special tea ceremony of Japan. And that also relates to yoga. The way you uh, take tea, it is like a yoga. And nowadays tea is very much popular. Chai pet charcha is the thing from India these days. And in this uh, politically charged environment of India, chai brings a lot of uh, memories from India. But as a member of press, quickly let me recollect uh, this quotation which is, it is better to die standing than live your whole life on your knees. On your knees you become uh, good only once when you are asking uh, your would-be wife that will you marry me? But after that, if you are always on the knees, uh, that's probably not good, especially as a member of the press. And I quickly want to recollect uh, Matthew and Jonsman as, uh, as I thank you. And I appreciate the way PPPP were written and I always introduce myself as a poet, priest and program director. So those P. <laughs> and then coming to a uh, member of media, as All India Radio, we were taught that uh, you are here to inform, educate and entertain. And once you come to America as Indo-American, another element that becomes a part of this information, education and entertainment is empowerment and as a member of ITV Gold and I get the opportunity of writing off and on for uh, some newspapers and I take this opportunity of recognizing this senior gentleman uh, who um, deserves to be clapped for his initiative at this age and I think uh, finally I would like to say that we connect with each other emotionally and media's role here is emotionally empowering and it adds to a self-esteem to see that someone is talking about me or Anand Aoja is saying what I have in my heart on the screen and all that brings us together on a platform of oneness which I am sure with innovative and dynamic leadership of Indo-American Press Club is going to move forward. And once again I thank uh, each and everyone. And as I go, I want to say Bharat Mata Ki. His Excellency Dr. Toshia Hoshino is presently an Ambassador and Deputy Permanent Representative of the Permanent Mission of Japan to the United Nations in charge of economic affairs.
a renowned practitioner and scholar of human security for the achievement of UN Sustainable Development Goals. Before assuming his current position, Ambassador Dr. Hoshino was a professor and the vice president of Osaka University in Japan. His previous positions include Minister Counselor in charge of political affairs at the Permanent Mission of Japan to the United Nations, Senior Research Fellow at the Japan Institute of International Affairs, Guest Scholar at the School of International and Public Affairs, Columbia University, Visiting Fellow at Woodrow Wilson School in Princeton University, and a Special Assistant of Political Affairs at the Embassy of Japan to the United States. He graduated from Sophia University, Tokyo, and completed a master's at the University uh, of Osaka, a doctorate from Osaka University. We welcome His Excellency Ambassador Dr. Toshia Hoshino and his wife, Mrs. Chicago Hoshino, to this function of Indo-American Press Club. May I invite the Ambassador to deliver the keynote address. Uh, 
a wrong direction, it is your responsibility to make us know this is not. So we are constantly uh, appreciate your advice and your uh, wisdom. And also we always work and have a dialogue with you uh, to uh, uh, make the world better. So in that regard, I strongly convince that uh, uh, India and the United States are two important powers and uh, well, with the addition of Japan, uh, we would like to uh, contribute uh, better to the world. But uh, well, I'd like to add uh, at the very end, when we tend to talk about uh, the global society, uh, particularly in New York where we have the United Nations, but uh, the change of the world begins from the local community. So in that regard, I was so much impressed and so happy to be here today to celebrate the uh, uh, hour of uh, Mrs. Panchanapula, for instance, and also uh, my other colleagues, uh, uh, no, the other, other uh, our deeds, uh, uh, Dr. Jain, or my colleague, Mr. Naive, and uh, Hashem Apiji, uh, for instance, uh, to contribute to the local society. You know, if you want to make a change in the world, I think what we start is where we live. So, uh, I think uh, India, uh, America, uh, press club is very rightly recognized those individuals, and I'm so happy to make a trip there to here. Many times to congratulate uh, them, but, but we see a beginning of the change from the world to the good direction. And again, that the press uh, have an important role and the responsibility to encourage the local community and also to the politicians and also the uh, uh, also the diplomats. What we, uh, I, I, uh, one last thing I'd like to say is that uh, as I told you, I was a language introduced and a former professor. The professor is to, the role is to meet so many young people. And uh, what inspires young people is the role models. So I think that uh, uh, Mrs. Kanchantula is a very great role model. And the other our these are uh, role models, and there will be some more uh, our these are uh, uh, <laughs> here today. So uh, I, I believe that those are the role models for the future, and I would be uh, happy that if you uh, cover the, their activities in the press, so that uh, we all know the the role models can inspire the rest of the world. But thank you very much for inviting me.
were managing editors of Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, and Time Magazine, and in the television also we see Indian Americans are leading now as commentators uh, like Farid Sakaria, who is also anchoring. So in the future, I see Indian Americans taking over the American media within the next decade. Congratulations to the Indian American first club. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Please stay back, others. Now we invite a band authority. I request uh, bank managers Rupa Maini and Suresh Thakur to the stage. I request bank managers Rupa Maini and Suresh Thakur to the stage to receive their awards. BCB in this bank. It's a leading American-based Indian style bank function having its branch at Pixway. They are always supportive of the activities of Indian American, Indo American First Club. We appreciate the support. IAPC would like to recognize and then all of them. We have another business entrepreneur, a successful business entrepreneur, Swarki Abraham. Swarki Abraham is the CEO of Eric Shoes and International Branded Shoes and also CEO of VS Shoe Company. He is the director of Hanover Bank, a $760 million bank with $58 million investments. It's our pleasure to honor Mr. Swarki Abraham at this evening. Now, we invite Guruji Dilip Kumar Nagapen, the yoga jariya and promoter of yoga in the United Nations of New York. He is the chairman of World Yoga Community. And Vice President of UNSRC Silas Silas Network, United Nations Headquarters, Trustee of Orbit Seminary International, Honorable Advisor to World Yoga Foundation and different yoga independent organizations. It's our privilege to honor Yoga Jaya Dr. Dilip Kumar Thangam. Thank you. Now, the next person we are honoring is Mr. Mohan Nanapeni. He is the founder of Team A, a non-profit organization. Mohan Nanapeni is the co-founder of the CTO of Sigma Systems Incorporation, a software professional service company. Mr. Mohan is also a philanthropist, helping people as well as Indian, Indian and American organizations. He served in several, several organizations, the Indian Association of North America, the Indian Association of Greater Boston, Team Square, and helped more than 4,000 families during their times of crisis and need to the various disasters, including him and Insurance in the United States and Canada. He is also co founder of Team A, another non profit organization that helps people affected in catastrophic incidents. Now, Team A has units in more than 20 countries, including USA and Canada. It is our pleasure to honor Mr. Mohan and the PD Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we have a book release. We have our order, uh, Mr. Darshan Bhakka. He is a uh, chapter advisory board member and he is a big businessman. May I invite Mr. Darshan Bhakka to come forward to release his book.
Mr. Darshan Singh Bhaga is an engineer, a real estate developer, a great general contractor and investor. He was honored as the Donald Trump of Indian community. He is a receiver of so many awards and is associated with many Punjabi organizations. Please give him a big round of applause. I also call his wife. So this book called Global Religion is a collection of seven issues of a newspaper, a journal, Mr. Bhagga Publishing. I am the editor. My name is Parvin Chopra. This is it. This book is a collection. Uh, can I also invite Dr. Sayyar and Dr. Upal? They are both board members of this newspaper called One World Under God. This is an interfaith newspaper, the first newspaper, interfaith newspaper from the South Asian community. Mr. Bagga is the publisher, and this book we are releasing is a collection of seven issues of this journal. Hello, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I was a builder and after 300,000 square feet built, 300,000 square feet built in New York at this place, we, and they are me as Donald Trump of the Great Community, and I thought, now what should I do next? So I went to Praveen and we discussed that I took a decision was that I should not have such a unique thing that nobody had made like that. This is a thing which I do in this country for the last 45 years. So after thinking over, I said, not a day is best. We are celebrating 550 birthdays to not a day. Good message and our grandfather. Class of America, they are more or less same. And that message, even Shishmaji, who is our foreign minister, she said that we are sending message to all the best in the world. They will celebrate this function. And they are celebrating and very proud of the first and general of New York. They have done two functions. And the message is very common. The word interfaith came 550 years back in Punjabi they call Sangi Balta. And from that I picked up this one and I told him that we have a sixth region or major region and put that everybody and I am very proud of the people who are here we, and who are not come. They write some different fashion. And this is a book about that and I am very proud all the people who have done, I'm thankful to the I enjoy being the press now. So we have given me a chance to read this book. On March 27, we did the portion of the alphabet. Thank you very much. And I invite the IPCR to be here then, and everybody should come and have a to see. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I want to invite for our next program. It's a dance. It's a Bollywood medley by Miss Marley Nair and Chief. Bye. 
by Ms. Marley Nair and team for their dance.
wishes. I wish them all the best. Now, one, one highlight I would like to say is media is going into internet and every business is going into internet and this has to be highlighted. What I'm trying to say here is every single business is going on internet like Facebook, Amazon, CNN, but what happens is these small companies are not able to survive. So the government locally, nationally and internationally should take a real law. They should bring a new law to give representation to the local news media to be part of all these giants. Their representation in local will provide more strength for the economy itself to, to be distributed locally. So instead of one person who owns Amazon or one person who is owning CNN to become a billionaire, that economy has to be distributed locally. So I request IABC to take this as a task, put this into the media and get it done. So with all your wishes, I congratulate them on behalf of Belmos Merchants Association and a couple of other associations I am affiliated with. Thank you so much. Good night. I request everybody who is having food to just come inside to enjoy the beautiful Bangra dance.
Thank you. 